Hi everyone, my name is Carol and today I am going to show you how to create augmented reality business card. So let's start. So first of all, what we need is a Canva for the, augmented, for the card. Uh, so we're going to design it here and uh, also we will need a MyDeb AR and Ready Player Me. So let's start by creating business card. I just uh, will find the template. We need a landscape uh, business card. Let's create a blank. And here are only a few really important things. We should put here different textures, colors. It will be better for augmented reality. And also we need to leave the place for the QR code. So I will start from that. I will put some gray shape here and after we will delete this one and put here the real QR code of our project. One more thing what I want to add here is the capture of my digital avatar. We will create it later, but let's, uh, let's add it now. So all we need is to go to readyplayer.me, uh, sign in and enter your hub. After that, you will see the left panel. Go to my avatars. As you see, I created a lot of them. So this one, where is my, mine. So this one is mine avatar. All you need is to capture. I already, uh, have a smiling uh, avatar without any backgrounds so i will download it i create a special folder for <laughs> this project let's name it uh, capture avatar and now i will upload it here so here is me but i think i will crop a little bit to make it bigger It all depends on you, so you can create whatever you wish. And maybe a smaller QR code. So now let's put some information about us. And I also invite you to put some social media uh, icons because first of all, they are colorful. Uh, you can find it in Canva, for example. Let's put uh, email first, yeah. For example, maybe it's a big enough. And I will do it colorful, for example, pink. But maybe not that pink. Good. And the same, we need a text box with my email. Also, we can use your old business card, but keep attention that you need um, the place for the QR code. Because if you will use your old card without QR code, you every time you probably should show the QR code for the people who will scan. So it's really important. Okay, and one more thing. I just copy it to be easier. Let's put LinkedIn. And I will make everything maybe in circles. Or no, the original one is also a good one. Okay, and uh, one more thing. Let's add our social media accounts. I will add uh, Twitter, Instagram, and I will add a few websites just to show you how it will be look like. And I want to, uh, want to add some lines just to make more elements 
as I said before, it is important for have a better connection with augmented reality, like to have uh, more elements. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Maybe we can add um, my position. So I just will write that I'm a AR creator. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Now we need to download it. So just press download, check that it's gonna be GPG or PNG, it's also good. And let's download it. Okay, now we going to my VBR. Here you need to sign in or to create an account. That's my favorite service for web AR experience and it's no code platform. So that's really easy to use. You don't need any coding experiences. Let's create a new project. Here are two uh, types that we can use for our project. I will show you the fastest one. Uh, this is AR on images. We already create our business card. So let's name it business card new and press here on images if you uh, create only a free account you will see that it's not i guess uh, available for you so you always can try a free trial and in the next video i will show you how to create a AR card with QR codes uh, so check the next video or try free trial here we need to upload our business card. Let's see what this is the image that we really want to use. Okay, so we see our image as a marker. That's really good. So all we need now to do is to add some assets, for example, images, videos, freedom models, uh, texts, uh, or something else. So let's start with um, free the models. I will definitely add my social media accounts. So we even don't need anything to download. Just press on free the model in your left menu and find social. Yeah, so here you will find not all, but like all popular free the uh, social media icons. If you want to find another one with different styles, you can use a Sketchfab. I also will, uh, will uh, let the link in the description. So let's start. Okay, as you see, there's like a black free the model. Don't worry, it means that we need to more light sources. So press to the light source and add that directional light. and add ambient light. So the first one and the last one. G great, so we see it works. Now I see that the 3D model is not in the right size. We need definitely to, to rotate it. And it's, we can check uh, here on the right side position and scale, and we need to rotate uh, to 90 degree or not to 90 maybe minus 90 yeah minus 90 and now we need to scale so I will do basically it's random you also can actually scale here on the right panel you see position and rotation and or you can scale rotate, uh, scale, or just move here on the dashboard. You see this is like a small island. Okay, so let's create like that. And let's do it again with another icons. So I'll put Instagram, LinkedIn. That's really important. And scale. Why we are adding social media, it's really great opportunity to integrate with people. And you can not only just put, you know, free the icons and that's all. Like, it's not just because it's beautiful. We will add more 
uh, more actions here and we will add the link that people will just press to the social media icon and go to your account straight to add to you to the connect you the view okay i see that my linkedin icon it's quite bigger than instagram so let's fix it also you can just copy the position and scale from your first model if you want to like create the exactly the same and the last one let's add twitter i guess yeah let's add twitter okay this one is definitely too small so let's correct it again and let's move a little bit okay so we done the social media icons you can rotate and check that this is 3d now i want to add some video of my cases so i will press to the video button and i already uploaded it so if you first time on this platform just press upload and select your file that a lot of supporting formats so i already uploaded and just press to your video after that i will make sure that i will put on on autoplay and the loop i don't need to remove your don't need to remove background because my video is not on the green screen but if you want to add some video with green screens you can also remove your background and as you see it's exactly the same size as my business card so i will just put it in front of it and i think i will just rotate it a little bit that will be uh, better to watch when this card is gonna be printed okay so we already have the social media and the video sorry i forgot but we need to add some links to our social media so when you press your social media button you can see here um the button of add actions so press add action and open web page on click we need this one now you see it's like a mybar.com we don't need this one we need our so here you can copy your social media i just wrote it by the way <laughs> follow me on instagram also Okay, and now what we need to target blank, even source Instagram. Perfect. Let's do it again with another social media icons for LinkedIn. We just press again, open that page on click and paste here your LinkedIn.com. And that's a question how it will be written, like something like that. And the same one with Twitter. Let's hit action. Done. Okay. So all we need to do one more step is to add our 3D avatar. We already created it on Ready Player Me and we used the capture. So now we need to download the, not the image, but the, okay, let's press cancel we need to download not the image but the glb model so just press free bottoms and download your avatar it's gonna be unanimated so i will uh, left the link to the another youtube video where you can animate your avatar because it's like it took a lot maybe 25 minutes are not animated but you can also use not animated avatar you can animate it uh, and let's add it here also if you don't want to animate your avatar by using uh, another another website you can also create your avatar here uh, you need to go to extension store it's another option and you see the first one is red player me avatar so just install it to your mother bar account 
and you will see you can create it here. But I already created and animate my avatar, so I will add it as a 3D model. Let's upload. As you see, you need to make this format. So I will use GLB. And yeah, also check that you can use optimized models. I really recommend it to use optimized. It will be the best solution for your project because it will instantly download everything. So here is my avatar and I will put to the right side because I will definitely have my business card and having it with the left, right, left uh, arm and scanning with the right so it's better to put to the right side. Okay, so I guess I'm done. Also, you can add some images here if you want to, audio, but my video is already with audio files, so I just put it like that. What's important, we done with our project. Now we need to go to the settings. And if you need, we uh, can create or change the project's URL. But I put it like that. I don't need a specific one. What we need to do, we need to uh, publish our project here. And you see we have a QR code, the same one like in the setting page. We need to download this QR code. And now we need to go back to our Canva file and change this uh, gray button to the normal QR code that we already downloaded. It allows people to use the augmented reality experience. Okay, it's already good. Maybe I will just make it a little bit smaller. Tadam! So we done now download it again. And I will just replace the last one to be sure that I will use the exactly one I need to. And now we need, let's go back to Mother Bayar, we need to change our marker. So you can find it again in the settings, advanced settings, and press change on the marker. And let's change to the last one. You will see the small uh, image with the QR code, so that's good. Now we need to save this one. Don't forget, that's really important. And you see, our pro project is already done. We have animations, we have clickable 3D icons and the good QR code, so now press save. And publish your... So this done, now you can print your business card, show it for friends, colleagues, or just your business partners and have a good web AR experience. Follow, thank you for watching and follow me for more tutorials and creative ideas.